Now to a Cleveland mother who is wondering when she once again will be able to enjoy the simple things in life. She was seriously injured by a car fleeing from police. 19's Noelle Williams sat down with her. She has the emotional conversation. Like I can't do anything for myself. I can't do anything for my kids. I can't come to work. I can't use the bathroom without assistance. I can't take a shower. I can't stand at all on my feet. Victoria Velasquez says she's struggling to find the things she can do. Broken bones, surgeries, and a wheelchair has become the new reality for the mother and business owner. Weeks after she somehow became the victim following a Parma police chase. It was just a normal day. And I was heading to work and I saw this black car. It was like headed right for me. Parma police say on August 24th, they were chasing a man driving close to 100 miles per hour, but lost sight of the speeding car before it hit Velasquez on her way to her store in the old Brooklyn neighborhood. The 30 year old driver died. I do have survivor's guilt. I think about like if I would have sat at the stop sign a little longer. Officials say the crash happened here on Woburn Avenue, just minutes away from the Cleveland and Parma border. And her family tells me they now question since it was so close, was the pursuits ever worth it? I visited the police station to find out if there were any updates to their pursuit policy, but no answer here. However, later this morning, I received a call from the police department's PIO. He tells me as of now, there are no changes. An answer simply not good enough for Velasquez. I wonder if they think of me. There's no telling when she will walk again or get the chance to drive her daughter to school or even work inside her store. But she says she plans to continue fighting. In Cleveland, Noelle Williams, 19 News.